Hey everyone, it's me and it's day 290. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at George Nguyen. So this is actually his Thailand form. Well, it's actually gonna be a re-review on George Nguyen. Why is that? Well, it's because of the black spoiler compared to his Chinese counterpart. So spoilers are different and Let's take a look at what the difference is, and Leakless is a very, very special sponsor along with Nitroaid, Atengang, RPM, and No Stop because they were the first Piston Cup race to be released, and Leakless is a classic as well. Here, George Norton is a re-release along with Flip Dober. So, Flip Dober will be out in the future depending if he wins a pool in my community tab. So, yes. A week ago, last week, George Norton won the pool. So, yes, it's time to review George Norton. Next will be colon, which will be in my next video. Here's George Nguyen's artwork compared to the Tomika artwork right there. But Tom and yes, Mattel finally named him George Nguyen, finally. But the XRS one did not have the name and the five pack. So, good job, Mattel. So, here's his artwork. He looks very, very angry. On the back, you can get Paul Conrad, Barry the Pedal, Flipped Over. Flipped Over's right there. John Blade Chimichanga, The King. Well, The King is also in Carl's Street. Murray Clutchburn, but that's Carl's one. Murray. Murray should be in Carl's one, but the reason why Mattel added him there because... Murray also appeared in Car Street and Jackson Storm made in Thailand, so it's time to open him up. So here is the brand new 2022 made in Thailand. George Nguyen out the package. Well, he does look pretty good, and yes, well, obviously, we all know that the next-gen league was known as George Nguyen had a rarely screening time because he started racing the Florida 500, and then he ended up being crashed, unfortunately. Man, I must feel, feel bad for him. It must be so sad, unfortunately. And what's worse of all that, like in 2019, Pixar called him next-gen league was, but... Tomika called him George Nguyen, so good job, Tomika, and looks like Mattel is redeeming themselves nowadays. Like, they're pumping out lots of new releases right now, and which I'm so happy what Mattel's doing right now. And yes, what's surprising is George Nguyen is the only next gen without the Kenjitsi sponsors. Just like the China one, which is so weird. So without further ado, let's see if you George Nguyen. Here's George Nguyen. He looks distracted. There's the Leakless logo. Just like the old Nickelodeon logo. Leakless. There's no adult drip pan. Black spoiler. I thought he would have metal windows like... Bubble Wheelhouse, but Bubble Wheelhouse is the only 2022 next gen that has the metal windows, but George does not. I am so surprised. Looks like Mattel is loving with, it looks like Mattel wants to do next gen with windows and no windows this year. I'm surprised. Very, very angry. Leakless 52. I really, really love George Nguyen's design as well. May the 22nd week of 2022. And George Nguyen is in my top 10 as well. 
Gray Rams as well. Number 52. Leakless like always. He has the Danny Steve Barry and flips spoilers. Which one? Which our next one has the same spoiler as Danny? Hmm. Not Will because Will is a has a unique spoiler. The Will. Hmm. I think that's about it. Here is the five next gens with the same same spoiler as Danny Swerve is. By the way, both same models. Those and all, oh, I forgot, George Nguyen also has the same body as Barry Tepeto. Barry Tepeto is also unified, but he is definitely the worst Thailand variant ever because the colors are so faded out, but Thailand George Nguyen doesn't look bad overall. Barry looks so abysmal. Well, they're actually re-releasing Barry Tepeto this year as a Thailand variant. So before we get out Claude, Brian, and the other leakless racers, let's compare to the China George new one. I don't, I do have the Vietnam one, but it's so damaged. So the Vietnam one looks way similar to China, so I'll be making a custom damaged George new one. So the eyes look so different, and the logos look different. Wow. This is just a surprising change. The yellow is just the same, but the gray is different. Well, obviously, the spoilers are different. This one was made in the 122nd day of 2019. I remember getting George Nguyen at Michigan in 2019 while I was on vacation. So which George Nguyen variation do you prefer? Made in China or made in Thailand? We'll have to go with made in China because he is very, very special in my heart because I got him during vacation. But what is yours? And plus, George Nguyen is... I'm adding Carson A's Dylan now because they're very, very similar. Carson A. Dillon is also one of the NASCAR line series. He didn't even appear in Cars 3, obviously. Now let's compare him to the three leakless racers. On the far left, we have the OG Claude Scrooks. On the left, we have Hollister from Cars the Video Game. On the right, we have Brian Spark. On the far left, we have George Nguyen. The 52 is the same with Claude, Brian, and George, but how is this 282 on um, the Cars video game racers? Claude House has the same design. Brian looks a little bit similar to Claude and Brian, but George is new unique, unique. Like most of the next gen have different designs compared to Cars 1 and Stock Car Racers. Well, who is your favorite? Favorite leakless racer. Claude Scruggs, Hollister, Brian Spiker, George Nguyen. Well, it's a tie between the three. I think I'll have to go with George Nguyen because it reminds of the old Nickelodeon logo of the leakless. But what is yours? So there is the three counterparts. There, there is... China, China versus China with the three leakless racers. But Mattel obviously didn't leave these Hollister and the other Piston Cup racers from Cars the Video Game, unfortunately. Now 
Now let's, now here is the tree next gens, classic next gens. Unfortunately, I don't have Thailand Tim Dread Tread List. So, which next gen racer do you think is your favorite? Tim Tread List, Jonas Carvis, or George Nguyen? It's a very, very tricky question for me since I love the tree equally. But I think I'll have to go with Tim Treadless because he is one of the first next gens to be released. But what is yours? And that'll do it for today's re review on George Nguyen, but a Thailand variant. I hope you enjoyed today's review. And let me know in the comment section below. Which next gen is in your top five favorite? Me, Steve Sickler Page, Jonas Carvers, George Nguyen, Tim Treadless, and Noah Gochuk. They're in my top five favorites, so this is my top five, but. My all-time favorite is Jonas Carver's, but what is yours? And hope you enjoyed today's review, and we'll see you next time, and goodbye.